Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love to use Instagram for sharing our photos and interacting with friends and basically checking out their photos and everything. But we also know that Instagram has a lot of data stored on their servers, a lot of personal data that you might not even be aware of. So how do you check all that? And more importantly, how do you download that? And most importantly, if you've downloaded it and you know basically feel like okay, it's not that secure and just want to delete your Instagram account, how do you do that? Well, we'll be covering all of those topics in this video. This is one from Guiding Tech, and let's get started. All right, so first let's talk about how to actually view your Instagram data. Now, if you're using an iPhone or an Android smartphone, just launch the Instagram app on your phone and switch to the profile tab in the bottom right corner. Now click on the hamburger menu at the top to open settings. From here, go to the security option. Now under data and history, tap on access data option. Here you'll find all your Instagram data right from connections to account activity to your ad interests. You can explore each category one by one to view your data. Now, if you prefer using Instagram on your PC, just open the web browser and log into your Instagram account. Now click on the profile icon at the top right corner and choose settings. From here, navigate to the privacy and security tab on the left side. Now scroll down to the account data section and click on view account data. Similar to the app, you'll find all the information that you've shared using Instagram. Okay, so now you've just viewed all of your Instagram data and you've figured out that yes, Instagram has a lot of your private information and is also connected to a ton of other apps and you just find it safer in deleting your account. Well, it's always good to download all of your data before deleting your account. So how do you download all of it? Well, here's how. Now, if you're using an Android or iPhone device, launch the Instagram app and then head over to settings. Now, under the security option, head over to data and history and tap on download data option. Enter your email address and tap on the request download button. Now, verify your Instagram password and then tap on next. Once the request has been placed, tap on done to proceed. Once you've submitted the request, Instagram will begin creating a file of things that you've shared. You'll receive an email from the Instagram in the next 48 hours with the download link of that file. Similarly, if you're using Instagram on your PC, log into Instagram inside your web browser and click on the profile icon in the top right corner and then select settings. Now switch to the privacy and security tab on your left. Scroll down to the data download section and click on request download. Once again, you'll just have to enter your email address and select your preferred file format under information format and then just hit next. Enter your Instagram password to verify your identity and then click on request button. And that's it. All right, so now you've viewed and also downloaded a backup of all of the Instagram data of your own personal information. Finally, it's time to delete your Instagram account. Unfortunately, you can't do this on your smartphone. I mean, technically you can, you just have to open the desktop version of the website. So yeah, just open the web browser and navigate to Instagram's delete your account page. You can find the link to this down there in the description box. Now log in with your account details. Instagram will ask you for a reason why you're removing the account. Just choose anything that you want from the drop down list. Next, enter your password to verify your identity and click on delete your username. And that's it. Instagram will wait for 30 days before completely deleting your Instagram account in case you change your mind. Until then, your profile will remain hidden to all of your followers. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Norm from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.